Jesus loves us, and as believers, we're called to serve and love others. Students in grade 4 to 8 go to Mass every Friday. This helps us understand our faith. Father Luke explains things at our level and involves us during the homo. Um, in grade 6, I came from a public school to a Catholic school. Um, in grade 8, I went through confirmation and I became Catholic. I wanted to become Catholic because I felt like everyone was very welcoming to me and that it was important to me to become Catholic. Catholic faith has been something that's been very important to me throughout my high school experience. When first coming to high school, everything is crazy and it's a whirlwind, but I've really been able to stay grounded in my faith. You go through so many changes, but being able to have your faith with you is something that you hold on to and it really helps you grow and know who you are as a person. It also develops a strong set of morals. And I feel throughout life, if I was to stray away from God, I'd be very lonely. And I learned that God is always there for me. We're learning about the different people's religions and what they believe in. And I know a lot of religions are very close. And we all have a belief in something that can help us through hard times and help us like, learn to be thankful for what we have and what we're given. And I just feel like really, I don't know, like happy that I have something that I can rely on like that. I believe that my goal in life is to get to heaven. I know that the choices I make for myself matter. The choices I make help me achieve my goals. So I'd say that a Catholic school provides a foundation in faith in order to live it out in your life. Um, I know that even within religion classes, it has given the opportunity for um, thinking about life in a more Christian way, thinking about Christian values, and um, it gives you the opportunity to live life as God would want you to live. And And what my Catholic education means to me is that in a Catholic school, they teach you how to be a good student, but it goes beyond that. It, go, it teaches you how to be a good person in your everyday life, and you can take that with you and use that for the rest of your life. And some of the ways they do that, they have so many opportunities in school. We do mission trips to Nicaragua. And I went on that, and I personally, that was a life-changing experience for me. And it just really makes you appreciate what you have, and and you makes you want to help those in need when you see how lucky you are for what you have. I am a responsible citizen when I do what Jesus would do. I take responsibility for my actions. I forgive others because everybody deserves another chance. Every year at St. Joseph's School, we have a Terry Fox ride around the school. We, we give one or two dollars to help raise money for cancer. We do it in memory of Terry Fox and his run across Canada. He only made it to Thunder Bay, but that's a long way for an artificial leg. If there's ever something you think you can't do, remember Terry Fox and his determination. Never, Never give up. up. We did get loud day when everyone dressed up in really bright clothes and colorful things, like just to be loud. And then it was Get Loud Day was for the hearing impaired. And at lunch, we all were silent and had to use sign language to speak to each other. And it kind of taught me that, like, we, as someone who does have a hearing impaired problem, like, like not problem but disability, they have. Like, it's harder for them, and it taught me how they feel in signs, and it kind of gave us a different experience on how another person feels. Um, I always remember St. Anthony's being just like family. 
um, especially during um, times when uh, students were having difficult times at home or um, outside of school. Um, I know when Noah Babbitt went for his walk for autism, we had a huge loose change drive to help support him and um, to create my friend Gina, her brother's new room. Um, we also came out as a family and a community to support him as well. And it's um, really heartwarming now to think about um, that I have a huge, beautiful family here at St. Anthony's whenever um, I'm feeling upset. I think one event that's brought the whole school together have to be really for life because it's kind of like the whole school coming together for like one major thing that's affected everybody through like their life and raising so much money in just a single day by walking on a track is amazing. It was a group effort to raise all the money and when you heard the amount that we all raised and knowing that like you contributed to that, it really made you feel even more a part of the community and like able to fight the cause that has affected everyone. Yeah, it really brought us together as a community and it was just a great cause. It made you kind of realize how like like to us it's a big school but it really is like a small amount of people. But it made you realize how such how much a small amount of people getting together can actually make a difference. I believe that it is important to have goals so we can grow as a person. This year, the, my teacher and principal helped me to set specific goals, and they helped develop my skills to reach those goals. Last spring, they, helped, they worked with me so that I could improve my high jump skills. This resulted in me breaking the school high jump record. Next year, I want to break the senior record. I believe that I have God-given talents and that I will explore them. As a lifelong learner, I believe it is important to stand up for what I believe in and never give up. If you work hard to reach those goals, you can set new ones to find your strengths. We used the golden rule, treat others the way you wanted to be treated. I include others because I know how it feels to be left out. When I work with my team, we always figure it out together. We, we are team players! Younger students and take care of them at recess. Student council makes sure that younger students are involved in all activities. Okay, my name is Allie and this is Hannah, and we did a religion assignment in this due today, and it's all about um, if we've ever seen something that really stuck out in God's creation to us. And well, just admiring yeah. God's creation and what all He's given to us. Yeah, just beautiful things in God's creation. So we have a poem that we wrote and also a picture. Here's God's creation. Okay. The night sky light reflected onto the grass. I never ever want this moment to pass. The stars, they twinkle as they shine so bright. All I do is bask in their light. The more I ponder God's creation, the more I stand in awe of his glorious nation. The cool night air blows my tears away, for I'm so moved by this moment, and so I will stay. Like disciples, I write to the world with my pen, for God has called me to do so. Amen. Amen.